up here, we should probably reflect it down here. So what we're going to do is pretty much go here and um, you may be tempted to actually go here and try to snag some color. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, some of the reasons why it doesn't work is because it's taking kind of a rough guess of well of the uh, the low resolution uh, preview image um, so guaranteed it probably is not going to be exact as to what is really in the Photoshop file but it's pretty close okay uh, so you can go through here and you can like select any color you want pretty much um, now ideally what you would do is go back to the Photoshop file okay and you would go right in here real close you see and you would use this little tool right here and there's different couple ways to do it. You could actually go in and you'll notice on a color slider, okay, to sample, right? And you're going to see the CMYK breakdown 270860. This becomes your mantra 270860. Go back to Illustrator. Go in here and see, oh, it's different. How about that? What was the mantra? 260860. Pow. Now you know that this green is exactly the color of that green in there. Done. Now all we got to do is save this thing. I'm going to save it. And we're going to save it as an EPS. You can export it. I'm going to just do this. Save as. Adobe PDF. Save it to the desktop. Save. It says Illustrator default. What I want you guys to do is save it as this PDF X1A 2001. This is the standard default standardized PDF format for all advertisements, all PDF material going out to commercial printers, to magazines, to everything. Um, just so you know, high quality print will work. This is standardized. This runs through a series of checks to make sure that everything is where it's supposed to be, the colors are correct, the resolution is correct, and if it's not correct, it won't make the PDF. So it's kind of like a stop check just to make sure, you know, uh, to tell you everything is okay. So we're going to go here. We're going to have all this stuff. Notice that all this stuff is turned off when it's PDFX1A. And we're going to go save. And that's fine. We're going to get this dialog box. They disable some editing features. Who cares? Okay, it's saving. We're going to hide Illustrator. We're going to hide Photoshop. I'm going to get rid of our fonts here. They won't go away. Here's my PDF right there. I'm going to open this guy up. There you go. There's your ad in all its glory. Pretty darn cool, huh?